Well, storks are known <laughs> for delivering babies, and now there is a baby boom or a population increase among a certain kind that live here in Florida. The wood stork has made a comeback from the brink of extinction. And tonight on your side, Jessica Clark reports the wood stork could be taken off the endangered species list. That would be good news. And she takes us to a local place that's just full of wood storks. At the bird rookery inside the St. Augustine alligator farm, Photographer John Hudson is like a kid in a candy store. You can photograph <laughs> a big bird. And there are many big birds here, including the wood stork making nests in the trees. Hudson has seen the wood stork population increase in St. Johns County. I've noticed like a pair maybe for, you know, the first part of the 2000s. And then there were two pairs, four pairs. Wood storks are on the endangered list, but the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is considering delisting them because there are so many of the wood storks now. They are tall, about four feet in height. Wood stork to us is kind of an ugly critter. He's, he's um, got no feathers on his head. John Bruggen runs the St. Augustine Alligator this Farm. Is our, this is our two acre swamp we're standing in. Wood storks started nesting at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm in 1999 when this swamp was created and alligators were put in it. They want to nest above alligators because then there's no snakes, raccoons, possums, things around because they, the alligators keep them from climbing the trees. According to the Fish and Wildlife Service, the creation of areas like this one or the increased protection of wetlands has helped the wood stork population take flight. Some people worry that it would be harmful to delist the wood stork, but Hudson embraces it. Oh, I think it's wonderful. It's just anytime you see bird populations increasing, uh, it's it's a sign that the environment is healing. And in St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side. Well, coming up next in our stories of service, you're going to meet the man. Who